Welcome back everyone to another episode of Greece. So guys, we are going to go to war with the Ethiopians here very, very soon. Using the almighty might we have from our British allies, we will use that to crush all the Ethiopians and hopefully gain a great and powerful stronghold in a new and entire nation. So let's see. Maybe. Are they at war with someone? No. They're just going to be jerks, aren't they? There we go. Okay, no. The the British decided that they really do need to help me, which is good. I was about to say, really? They aren't going to help me? That's pretty lame. Even for the British, that's pretty lame. So, anyways, we're going to, we're going to be kind of protecting the Suez Canal from any kind of attacks because I kind of realized that maybe the Ethiopians might have militaristic access and they might actually come all the way down here and go destroy me which would be really bad but we're not going to actually engage them down here because well for one we can't get any soldiers down there quick enough to do anything and that would take an insanely long amount of time to get all the way across the coast to over here so what we're just gonna do is wait for them to come to us as the saying goes and yeah, <laughs> wait for them to come to us. Perfect way of saying it. And right now we have way too many clergymen, because that's way too much of our population. Oh my goodness! Mm, mm. Like I said, uh, wait for them to come to us. They came to us. With a much bigger force. I'm just gonna wait until... Um... Hmm... I'm gonna wait, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think they're taking massive nutrition. I mean, not nutrition, um, they're basically dying in a desert, that's what I mean to say. Uh, so, I think that they're going to be weaker if I just give it a little bit, and apparently the British are coming over here to help, wow, I don't know where that army came from, but that's a good army, hmm, maybe what we could do is come help the British, yeah, let's go conquer all this Britain, and then we're gonna go and help them engage this men! Yeah! Oh yeah, the first successful attack we ever did, and it was entirely successful, and I think the British just took a lot out of Najed. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. But, yeah, they just took, yeah, I think they really did take a lot of Najed, but yeah. So we just helped with our first major conflict, well, not really major conflict, we helped with our first major war, not really major war, we helped with our first thing, okay? Oh, and the British help! Oh, we were gonna win even without the British help! Oh, that was kinda cool. Okay, so yeah, we just we just stood our ground against the Ethiopians, the new and greatest enemy that will never that will always be proven in history books as the greatest threat to mankind is ever known. We defeated them. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, uh, oh, he's actually able to do stuff. Okay. Well, I knew that all along, but you know, some, sometimes you need a little bit of, you know, proving. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, internalizing, there's some failed interests. I'm not really trying that right now, so that's good. Yes, okay. I'm just going to get more. Let's now get this. Now that we have gotten all that, but wow, we won against Ethiopia's troops. Okay, that that's, that's pretty major right there, and apparently... The British are also helping us a little bit more down here in Ethiopia. That's good. Oh, that's so good. We just... Uh, and I, 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 maybe to you guys it doesn't seem like that big of an event and it may be small, but we just... Uh, wow. We really do have the power now to fight against anyone. And we're keeping this army back. That army's afraid of us right now. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, um, I think we'll get some more taxes, or should we get anything else would be really nice. Sulfide, for market output, higher. We want to keep in the two production range so we can do stuff. Actually, morale to armies might be a little bit better. So we might need just a little bit more morale to armies. Especially since our army is only like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, apparently the British are doing a lot of reconquesting our lands, and they have two armies down there. Oh gosh, this is this must be like destruction for the Ethiopians. They must be like, 
Oh my goodness, what's happening to all of our land? And I think I'm going to get a, uh... What should I get? I think another horseman would be really nice. And even with all of our negative... Mil like, negative money, I think once the war ends and we have, like, all this land, I think our economy should go to, like, insane amounts really good. Because then we have an entire African state of 1.36 million people underneath our control, which will then help us out insanely, an insane amount. By the way, have we been having just a little bit of colonial migration? Yes, we have! Oh, wait, no, that's, that's not... What color is Greek? Oh, why are we strangely pink? Like, why is our... Our nation is blue, and we're pink. I... Does anyone else have questions about that? Except except for me, like... I feel like there's something wrong with that, but... Maybe it's just me being stupid, and... Yes! Okay, we took over all Greek Ethiopia. And now we can get universally known... Voting rights. Yes. Okay. Uh, our economy's going to a little bit of the bad place. Because we've been at war for so long. So I'm going to help slowly but surely take off the economy but first we have to first get our economy back in order so that we can start doing more stuff so yeah once it gets back into order once it starts building more stuff once it really gets back high up up there then I'll start like decreasing the amount we're making but yes we got a good 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 start into our economy should I build anything else so for mine iron mine I don't think we I don't think we actually have any coal right now, so I don't think that would really help us. Let's just keep going down the economics. Keep going down the economics, but yes, we got more land now, and oh my goodness, look at the troop count! Adeluya, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh gosh, it's a lot of troops. Oh, oh. Oh gosh, I feel like I could abuse this so heavily. Twelve more troops, like, that's a good amount of army I could actually build something with. Oh gosh. Oh man, and we could just build it instantly. We wouldn't have to wait. Oh. And apparently I could sign the Geneva Convention, of course I'm gonna sign it because I don't really put my... I don't really use maximum amount of of my military anyway, so it doesn't make any sense to do that. Okay, we can now start decreasing our, uh, um, military, wait, oh, that was way too much. Ah, that's way too much again. There we go. 75. We can now start decreasing our taxes just by a little bit at a time. Um, apparently something's going on between Austria and France, like, the two biggest allies in the game, and Russia is now a great power again. What the heck? What is happening to the world right now? Okay, Russia is now a great power again. They still don't like us. France is now, like... France is really starting to get really good alliances. <laughs> Let's just say that much. They really know how to get really good alliances, so... That's really interesting. Austria looks like it's being crushed. I don't even know why it's being crushed. Why is it being crushed, anyways? Um, Poland. Wow, Poland, I have to admit, you guys are a crazy, crazy expansionist, and I'm just going to gain that just because, why not? Let's see, who are your ally- oh my goodness, this might be the perfect time to go to war with these guys. Let's see, how am I, uh, looks, ooh, ooh, I can gain Cuba, ooh, okay, wait, will my friends join me, though? Likely, okay. So what we could do is we could go to war against the uh, Spanish for something. What would we want? Um, let's see, is there anything of import- Ooh, all this iron right here would be really nice. Um, yeah, all this iron right there would be really nice. So we'd be actually start producing iron. Um, let's see, is there anything else that would be really valuable? I mean, Cuba, I know, produces cigars. That isn't particularly insanely valuable, but it might be good. It might give us a good colony over there, but I don't know. This 
this iron. We could be actually producing iron. I, I think that's I think that's what we're, where we're going to, guys. Producing iron and starting to actually like go to a colony. I think that's I think that's what we're going to. So what's this colony called? Uh, Mine Dano. Mine Dano. I think that's what we're going to gain from the Spanish. Uh, I mean, we cannot just not use it. I mean, we could also gain Luzon, but I think Mandano is what where we really have to go. In South Peru, Cuba. Cuba does have sentimental value for me, but Mandano is really where we need to be gaining stuff, because then we can actually gain some actual iron and stuff, and gain a good economy. So let's just do it. Have our friends, the British, help us out. Yep. And so... <laughs> now, I think we could actually help it this time, though. That's the cool thing, is I think this time we could actually help the the war effort. So, let's actually do that. Let's go send over some of our troops into little tiny uh, expansionist things. Go send them to, like, here. And we'll actually go help the British go to... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of soldiers. Well, they do have a good army over there. It's just wondering if they're actually going to use it. Yeah, they do have a good army. I'm just wondering if they're going to use it. No! Gosh dang it! Okay, so my all my army was just destroyed, but luckily I can build an insanely huge amount of army. And I can build our army back in, back in home. Let's do that. Let's build our army back home. Okay, I can build a lot in Africa now. Like so many in Africa. But, yeah, it seems like we're being overran by the Spanish right now, but I'm pretty sure the British, I'm pretty sure the British will be able to hang in there and be able to come back. I mean, they have 30 men right here. They have 30 men all the way over here, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come back from this. We just have to give it a second. Um, over here in the colonies, I'm pretty sure we'll be, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to win this. Uh, we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, the British... And they lost all their soldiers over here? I don't know. Hmm. That does not usually happen, but let's see. Are they trying to do any of the suicide invasions yet? Uh, nope. But this is a great battle. Uh, 205. Yeah, this is, this is not exactly the most evenly fought battle, even in the scope of this time. This is a pretty humiliating defeat if we do, if they do lose this, but... I think the British are kind of being stupid right now, not sending over this. Oh, there they are. One army moved. So where did that army go? Oh, and where did the... F hmm. Really, Portugal? Really? You're attacking another weaker nation. What a savage, primitive people you are to attack somebody weaker than you that has no defenses and no chance of winning. What sad... Oh my goodness, they really are. How'd they build such a powerful... Gosh dang it. I'm gonna have to mobilize on my own island. Mobilize! Mobilize! <laughs> oh, this makes me laugh, actually. Okay, so everyone mobilize. Get into position. Okay, we got 15 men. I don't know how the war ended. Maybe it ended with us succeeding. Yes! Oh, yeah! As soon as I mobilized, didn't need to. I should have believed in my powers to... Be persuasive. We gained a causes belli against the against the Spanish because of an event that actually paid off. That usually never happens, but it actually paid off this one time. Good gracious, that is awesome. So we just gained another population center. Um, didn't really need it though, but we gained even more importantly iron, which means we can actually start producing a little bit more steel, a little bit more guns and maybe due to that they'll produce germs too which is not exactly the most thrilling of thoughts but pay the local farmers because the local farmers need pay get the business model up oh my goodness look at that money oh look at that moolah it's like we cannot do anything wrong right now but I am gonna have to decrease it because that's a little bit too much money 54 Get that below 50. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's going to decrease our economy by a lot, but... Uh, it was nice seeing that much money for just a little bit. Even if it was just for a little bit, it was nice seeing that much. 
Um, so the Russians are now a great power again in this game, which is awesome to see. Maybe they'll be helping us more in terms of, you know, doing these crises. It might be, but we still, I'm still planning on that major battle in the end. Even though all my ships wiped out in a big gigantic exchange. Um, but we can honestly build way more military than what we have right now, which is so awesome. And which means I don't really, I don't really think I have to be encouraging militaristics anymore. So, what I might be starting encouraging again is, um, capitalist. I need more people to start switching over to capitalism, maybe. So we can start having bigger population boost. Because we have zero capitalists. Wait. We have 193 capitalists. Not exactly the biggest amount, but not exactly the worst amount. So maybe get more capitalists in our land would help us a lot more. But dang. That was nice. That was that was a really nice event. For once, it, it did not backfire in, into my face whatsoever. It was just a nice, quick war. And it was perfect. So, but I think what I'm going to do is build like... Four warships. Wait, not on tennis. Let's not build them in Africa. Let's build them somewhere where I know where they are. Like, right here. Five. I'm going to build five of these ships. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those ships, get some of the men from Ethiopia, and then transport them back over here. So we can actually build a decent-sized army now. That's so cool. Like, a decent-sized army, guys. We can actually build army. We can actually do stuff. We can actually, you know, become powerful again. Um, while do I think we could beat up the uh, French army? Eh, not quite yet. We can actually do stuff, which is exactly what we want to do. Build soldiers from our colonies and start actually expanding. It's a good thing. It's also good because now the, the British actually have a good outpost over here, men. Which means that if they did want to go to war with the Ottomans, they'd be much better helped than just sitting there doing nothing. Though I have made their uh, province over here much weaker, but... Eh, I don't really care that much about them. Oh gosh. So now we got our ships. Our ships are going to help us with our future invasions to do. So let's just get them all grouped up. And I honestly don't need to be supporting them. That's kind of the background of this. Is I don't really need to be supporting my ships. So let's just like put that down to 10. Make a good amount of income. Conservatives gain power, liberals are losing power. Gosh dang it. That's what I not that's definitely not what I needed. Um and let's see if we can get this all the way down to 50%. 50%. Oh, that's so close. That's so cool. Okay, then that means I could officially transfer over to the uh British faction without really much care. Yeah, I think now my economy supporting... Oh, wait. They didn't really have to restrict, restrict you to 50%? Really? Huh. Okay, then I probably could have just kept that up, but I guess 50% for all my people is actually a pretty good amount, so that people can actually start uh, making money. Yeah. So now if everyone's at 50%, so that means nothing's really bad, nothing's really good. Uh, capitalism, people... Uh, this is starting to become a really... Exciting. We're starting to build up everything and everything's starting to become really really nice um, I built a lot of uh, hus Husk walls, which isn't too bad. I just need to make sure I build a lot of cannons down here So let's start building some cannons Build some cannons. Uh, we can actually build one more soldier. So let's build like one soldier there uh, build two cannons down in there build two soldiers down there and to these guys down there. Okay. And we're gonna go pick those guys up with this army. To do. And go all the way. Let's hope these guys can make it. I have faith in the sea. In the ancient sea voyage of the Greeks. That we will make it all the way there. If we don't. Then they will probably die. Because I have nothing else to save them. If they do not. Uh, and the Santo are also. Oh, how did the Santo get in the sphere of the, of the Americans? I'm kind of confused about that a little bit. They should not be in that. Um, we could gain some 5% prestige right now. You know, let's gain some good reinforcements. So our reinforcements are actually kind of good if we actually do fight. Oh gosh, we now got the good parties now in power. We're gonna have to keep them in power, so we may have to do some cool stuff. Ionian Islands, did they get conquered? No, they became a part of- what? 
When did the Ionian Islands become a part of me? Huh. Okay, seems like we got even more stuff. I don't know how, but they became, like, me. Okay, I, I, I'm perfectly fine with that, but wow. I didn't expect that. So let's just gain internal issues, failed internal issues, more internal issues about Poland. I'm almost thinking that Poland should just go die. Because it keeps, it keeps hogging up all the attention that all the other states are supposed to be giving towards me. We can actually do clean coal right now because we're actually producing something. Oh, that's so nice. We're actually producing stuff. So that means we can actually build it. We have four men approximately. Let's see. How'd you guys do? You guys didn't get damaged that much. So, so all you guys get on the ships. Come back to the colonies. We're having... I think we're going to have to increase our militaristics again. So let's just increase it by seven. Not gonna just go up to sixty percent. There we go. And there we go. We have a good economy going right now in terms of power. We have everything going. And I think for that, this is a good episode. This is a good time to end the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching.